Damn, my barber sauced me up. Ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? Joey Salantana here coming at you with a brand new YouTube video. I just finished up with my barber, as you can probably tell. He made sure I was looking fresh, minted me up, cleaned me up. The day is already off to a great start, so I'm excited. I'm gonna bring you guys along for a little day in the life, show you guys what I eat. I have a leg workout later. So before we get too far into the video, make sure you hit that subscribe button, like the video and comment down below, and turn on your post notifications to stay up to date with everything I'm posting. You guys aren't gonna wanna miss a single video. I am consistently posting once per week on YouTube, so do not miss a video. Make sure you go, click the link in my bio, and check out all my other social medias. We're on the road to 10K followers on Instagram and 1,000 subscribers on YouTube. So make sure you follow me on Instagram and make sure you subscribe. And without further ado, I'm gonna go try and get a smoothie right now at Smoothie King. Okay guys, so I got my Smoothie King smoothie. This is a 32 ounce berry punch. This is my all time favorite. Mm, strawberries, blackberries, blueberries, raspberries. So high carb, little to no fat, little to no protein, just for energy. We'll put the macros right here. Mm. But if you guys go to Smoothie King, try this one out. If you are on the road and don't have access to your meals, this is definitely an option to get your carbohydrate sources in. I also picked up a one bar. This is my go-to one bar currently. Birthday cake, absolutely fire. I'm gonna wait to eat this, but this bar and this smoothie go hard. Okay guys, so we made it back home from Annapolis. I'm just getting some busy work done right now on the computer and creating some content. And then I'm going to make my first meal of the day. I am getting pretty hungry right now, so hopefully I'll make it a bigger one, but just getting busy with work done right now, and then I'll show you exactly what I make for my first meal. Okay guys, so we're down in the kitchen. We are gonna make up my first meal of the day. It's gonna be comprised of egg whites, a everything bagel, Chobani Greek yogurt, boom, and some fruit. And then we're also gonna have this muffin. I'm gonna put the macros on screen right here. The muffin is my favorite part. Muffin pump goes absolutely insane. So we have legs today and that muffin is gonna be put to good use. And guys, a little hack that I use to keep my overall fats down for my entire diet and my macros is the Pam original spray. I get an original and olive oil, um, even avocado oil, zero calorie. Serving size is a quarter second spray. So realistically, it's not that long, but what I do is I literally just take the pan and I go like that. And that's like no calories, maybe a little more. Keeps it super low. I don't have to worry about a ton of fats in my diet, especially with my fats being so low. And then I put the egg whites right in and they'll cook perfectly every single time. But yeah, guys, how do we feel about this uh, this long sleeve shirt? I don't really wear long sleeves that much. I might be warming up to them. Let me know in the comment section below what we think about this, uh, this long sleeve tee. It's obviously Lulu. The muffin pump lives on, boys. Okay guys, so we finished up meal number one and we're back in the kitchen. Oh yeah. We are gonna have my meal number two and I'm gonna use this as my pre-workout meal. I had a little bit more work that I had to get done so I got all that stuff done and I'm gonna eat again and then we're gonna head to the gym. So for meal number two, we have pretty straightforward, one packet of Uncle Ben's rice, asparagus, okay and then grilled chicken breast and one serving of cashews. And I'm also gonna put 
the macros on screen for this meal right here. Okay guys, so this is what it's looking like. Honestly, pretty aesthetic. And then I'm gonna be throwing some teriyaki sauce on there too. When I'm not cutting or in a calorie deficit, I don't track sauces super, super tightly. Just because with the amount of food I'm eating, I wanna make sure I get all the meals in. I don't wanna be worried about sauces, but I will pick sauces that are typically lower in fat, higher in carbohydrate content. So for this teriyaki sauce, for one serving, it is one fat, eight carb, one protein. We also have the cashews right here. That's one serving of cashews. So if people ever get surprised when they eat like tree nuts or like peanut butter and stuff, and they're like, why is one serving size so little? That's because for the amount of fat that is in cashews, almonds, peanuts, um, it's not gonna equate to a lot of volume. You're not gonna get as much volume for the amount of macronutrients you're spending on it. Okay guys, so we finished up that meal and we are about to head over to the gym to hit this leg day. I'm gonna have my birthday cake one bar right now. I also have two Rice Krispies that I'm gonna eat along the way. Get ready for this pump. This leg day is gonna be absolutely bonkers, okay? And we're just gonna rip hard style over to the gym because that's what we do. Okay guys, we made it to Exile Fitness and we are about to get into this leg workout. So, gonna be focusing on quads, making sure I funnel blood into the quadriceps specifically. So, we're gonna get into it right now. Hope you guys enjoy. Make sure you let me know in the comments down below if you like the edit. So let's get right into it. And guys, I've been starting with abs every single training day, at the beginning of every single training day, I'm trying to bring these bad boys up. Okay guys, so I finished up with all my warm-up stuff. Quad extensions, abductors, adductors, and now I'm warming up on squats, doing jumps from bar, 135, 225, 315. See where I go from there. It's all pretty standard for me. But I do wanna say, if you're trying to grow your legs and you are wondering if you should be hitting adductors and abductors, you need to be hitting them. Like you need to let your ego go and say, oh, those exercises are only for girls, whatever, whatever, no. If you're trying to put serious mass on your legs, in your glutes and in your adductors, hit those machines, let your ego go, and you will grow your legs. Okay guys, so I just finished up squatting. I did 315 for three by eight to 10. Low stance, really targets the quads, and then I did do a 405 single just to see where my strength is at, make sure that my form is still good. It felt really good, so I'm really confident in my squat and my strength, retaining my strength. Doing 315 for upwards of eight to 10 reps is like cardio, so it does get you like the filthiest quad pump though, if you can last. What I get worried about a lot is like, once you get in that eight, nine, 10 rep range, having your low back come into play is a big deal. So on two of my sets, I got to like the ninth rep. It's worth cutting the set short to prevent an injury, which would hold me out for a longer time and limit my progress, as opposed to continuing to push, have my low back come into play, and then potentially injuring myself. Are you ready for the 
Okay guys, so that's gonna be a wrap on the workout. A Little bit of hamstrings at the end there. That's gonna wrap up the workout. I need to go home and eat. I'm very hungry. Good, good workout. Wanted to make sure I saved my load back, so did some stuff at the end there that took my load back out of the equation. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna head home and eat some food, because I'm very hungry. Look at that, hey guys, the calves are coming up, I swear. They're growing. Calves every day, boys. Calves every day. They're growing. Okay, guys, we made it home from the gym. I want to answer some questions that I got from you guys on my Instagram. So I'm gonna answer some of these questions before I whip up my last meal. So to kick it off, question number one, when are you shaving the stash? I'm not. <laughs> Question number two. Who are your favorite accounts to follow right now? Okay, so there are actually a lot. What I will say, and if I don't mention any, I'm sorry, but there are so many. I'm gonna put a few that I really, really enjoy. I'm gonna put them right here. So make sure you go check them out. Okay, next question. What made you get into fitness? So, when I first started, getting into fitness, it was at the end of my senior year of high school. I was 18 and I was actually a really scrawny kid. So I weighed like 155 pounds, wasn't really muscular at all, was athletic after playing hockey for such a long time. So at that point I was like, okay, I'm going off to college at the University of New Hampshire. I wanna put on some muscle mass, I wanna get bigger. And it's funny because my first goals when I got into fitness were, I wanna have abs, and I wanna have big arms, and that was it. And now, all everyone ever talks about are my big quads, so. But um, I think just bettering myself um, was what me really made me get into fitness. And there were all, always so many motivators to that, but I would say the classic era of bodybuilding is has always been my biggest motivator between like <clears throat> guys like Arnold, Franco Colombo, and Frank Zane and then also guys like Ziz and Jeff Side 
and David Laid. That's how I really got into fitness. Here's another one. Is the stash staying for a while? Yes, it is. You know, just, just take it in. It's gonna be here for a good long while, so enjoy that. Next one. What was your defining I can do this moment? So I'm assuming that you're talking about like I can do this as far as like fitness goes and like recording myself and like starting a YouTube channel and posting more on Instagram and TikTok and all that sort of stuff. So I think my defining moment really came to me as a realization on what I really fell back on when things got really tough. So when the virus hit and the pandemic hit, the entire world was shut down. So when I was in grad school, I was super hyper focused on like athletic training and doing all of that and like working at a D3 school, which was an experience. So when the pandemic hit and everything was shut down, my immediate thing that I fell back on was fitness. You know, not only for physical stability, but for emotional and mental stability as well. So doing at home workouts by myself in my apartment in Michigan was one of the biggest things that, you know, I had to do. And being on a diet plan and cutting while in Michigan, you know, and sticking to my goal of doing a body weight cut that summer. I fell back on fitness immensely. When I think about how every single person in the world, their life came to a halt in a single moment because of this illness and virus, I really said to myself, okay, what do I want to do with my life? And I could literally lose my life at any point in time. It doesn't matter when it could be, it could be by something completely random that I have no control over. So why not focus my time and energy into things that are bringing me absolute happiness and joy? And that's how I feel. So with that being said, the next question, biggest struggles in the gym or life in general? So this is a really good question. And throughout my life, I think that like every person does, they have struggles, but to put you guys sort of in my shoes for a moment, some of my biggest struggles came very early in my life. So something that I don't usually share, but I'm trying to be more open and honest about is when I was 11, I was diagnosed with Crohn's disease. So Crohn's, and you can look it up, is a inflammatory disease of your small intestine and your bowels essentially um but what happened was it really stunted my growth as like a young adult and like a child so when everyone was growing up and getting bigger and stronger and more athletic my growth was sort of stunted and i was sort of held back because i was having so certain issues with <clears throat> absorbing like nutrients and taking in food that my body needed. So things that I was really limited on were like, I didn't have a massive appetite. I was very scrawny and small, 70 pounds body weight at 11 years old, could not gain or lose a pound. You know, I literally thought I was gonna die from having Crohn's disease. I didn't know anything about it. You know, I went to Johns Hopkins Hospital and was diagnosed and was treated by physicians there and I'm truly blessed to have been put in that position to be treated by these people but I knew nothing about what was going on so I think that really was like a defining moment in my life that was a massive struggle um, and then something that I also I'm trying to be more open open and honest about is my struggles with mental health as a man and as most of you know I raise money for the Movember Foundation every single year. I've been doing it for the past four years. And one of the biggest aspects of it that I advocate for is mental health awareness for males and then suicide prevention programs for males. Because as male individuals, we are looked at as people who 
can't really express their emotions or should not express their emotions essentially we should just suck it up and move on but in my mind i think that's one of the biggest faults in society when people are looking at male individuals because everyone has emotions and everyone has feelings and everyone has you know their own thoughts to live with so if those thoughts are negative or detracting from your life physically or literally debilitating please reach out and seek help because that is something that should not be taken for granted people in general should not be put in a position where their own mind is in jeopardy or potentially hurting themselves so i think my struggles as a as a male with my mental health really just came from stress I don't want to fail. I don't want to be a failure. I want to make it in this life. So putting a lot of stress on myself in those aspects really took a hit on my mental health. So I definitely think if you are someone that struggles with mental health, please, 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 please reach out to someone. And then the biggest struggles in the gym, I think biggest struggles in the gym really just come down to, I, I always want to be able to train to my fullest capacity. And something that I feel like limits me as, a, as an individual is just injuries. Give yourself the best chance to prevent an injury is, is a massive struggle in the gym because everyone wants to go hard. You want to lift heavy. You want to go for more reps, you know, more sets, do more just in general. But when you do that, sometimes your body can't adapt as fast as you would like. And that's when you end up um, creating an injury. So. Proper programming, proper nutrition, proper form and education is super important in the gym. So if you are someone that is struggling with knowing, you know, what you should be doing or you need guidance, please click the link in my bio, consider applying for my online coaching or an online consultation with me because as someone with education in the field and the background knowledge, I feel like I can convey a lot of knowledge and information to people that might need some more guidance. And I would be happy to help you to one, maintain your progression and make sure that you are continuing to get strong and to build muscle and two, preventing injuries so you can continue to progress in the gym and reach your goals. So consider applying to my online coaching. And so with that, I believe that is the last question. Thank you guys so much for tuning into the video. I truly do appreciate all of your support. It honestly means so much to me. I love making YouTube videos and I want to continue to do it. And I want to get to a point where I can do this as my job and career. That is my goal. That is my truest, truest goal. So please, Make sure to subscribe, click the like button. It helps immensely. Leave a comment down below if you liked this style of video, day in the life with the Q&A, you know, seeing my workout, having me explain a little bit about my training. And make sure you turn on your post notifications to stay up to date with everything I'm posting. You guys aren't gonna wanna miss a single video. Make sure you click the link tree in my bio. Go check out my other social medias. We're on the road to 10K followers on Instagram. So follow me on Instagram. We're on the road to 1K subscribers on YouTube and also check out my TikTok. And with that being said, guys, I truly appreciate everything and I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. So peace.